the top rated sexual wellness products on Amazon. <laughs> ah! It tastes like cake batter. I'm not doing anything! <laughs> okay. Roll the opening. <laughs> Hello! And welcome back to What's Safe Word? I'm Amp. I'm Mr. Christopher. And today we are being wellness. Sexual awareness. Sexual awareness? We're aware of something because it's the new year. We're going into the new year strong and don't even talk about the Christmas tree. We get it. We will take it down. It was filmed during the holidays, okay? Don't look at the tree. Stop looking at it. So as we are leaving the holiday season, there's one thing that everyone usually stresses about, which is... Money. And? Family. And? Sex. Well, um... <laughs> Gifts. Gifts. And this idea came to me because I was buying gifts for the holiday season for all of my loved ones, friends. Ooh, what'd you give me? But as I was buying gifts, I was being bombarded by advertising and things that I needed to have. And so I went into Amazon and I asked for sexual wellness products, which are something you can easily get because you can't say sex toys or like dildos on Amazon. You don't find good stuff. Well, that is what we're here today to test. <laughs> Cheap toys. <laughs> you guys love when we review products. And so I'm going to go through the top rated sexual wellness products on Amazon today, because that's where I did a lot of my shopping. And while I'm not here for the Bezos bucks, I am here to tell you guys what is good toys, what is bad toys, and if these objects are actually going to help you be sexually well. So we're going to go through, we're going to yay, nay, slay, which means we're killing the, we don't want any. Or the Thanks for explaining that to me. Can you hit the slay button for me? Slay. Have you hit it a few times? Play, 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 play. <laughs> On to the products. <laughs> so when looking through sexual wellness objects, of course, lube was some of the most popular stuff that was in my recommended, but the first one that came up when you looked for sexual wellness was Hello Cake Flavored Lube Vanilla Chai Water-Based Lube. No aftertaste, easy cleanup, moisturizing, vegan, gluten-free, and hormone-free. Why would your lube ever have hormones? Uh, and why did you need it gluten-free? I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for this. Could you imagine if your lube had gluten in it? What kind of lube that would be? I mean, it's that really have to be stated. And why isn't it called glube? <laughs> so we have done lube taste tests before, and this one was the top rated, the Amazon recommended. You know how you buy something? Put that thing away. And so this was one of the first ones for whatever reason. I wasn't doing any lube taste tests, but I am curious to see if it's actually good. If it's actually good or if daddy needs some lube to get it out of the freaking box. <laughs> now this stuff, as daddy's opening it up, it's vanilla chai. And for the record, chai tea would be like saying tea tea if you've seen across the Spider-Verse. Chai tea chai means tea, bro. But it says free from alcohol, squirtle, squirtle. Para oh. parabens, dyes, sulfates, gluten, and shame. <laughs> And shame. Oh. And it also has a listing there of like stuff that it can and can't do. So, Daddy, how does that taste to start with? I, you know what? I don't hate it. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. <laughs> it tastes like cake batter. It tastes like cough syrup, kind of. It's not bad tasting, but it literally says flavored lube is good for oral play. True. Partner play, we're having a great time. Solo play, not recommended. And edge play, no. Well, how else are you going to edge if not with lube? Why not for edge play? <laughs> does it dry out quickly? Well, maybe, but like, how does it feel? It Start feels good. I, actually, it does dry out a little bit. Usually you want to stick to some silicone, even maybe oil-based, though I don't love oil-based lubes. No, it's still, it's still... Is it sticky, though? Because No, it's not. Look, it's not sticking to my hand at all. our experience, you have to have a water-based lube, which is what this is, to have a flavor. Other lubes generally can't have a good flavor like that. I have to say, for a water-based lube, it's not sticky. It doesn't have that honey viscosity to it like oh a lot of water-based does. If you hadn't told me it was water-based, I would have thought it was silicone. I'm more curious to see about, for a top-rated product, the ingredients here. Water, glycerin, pentylene glycol. I am having a hard time. You, you know are, what you I'm are doing? <laughs> Every man should get grapefruited. I'm licking the beater. You, you keep working those hands over there. Glycerin, even though glycerin and glycol is found in many lubes, some researchers suggest that high amounts can damage and irritate cells within the vaginal and rectal area, and also suggest that glycerin may increase the transmission of STIs, so likely to cause bacterial vaginosis. So next on the list, pentylene actually might cause toxicity in high amounts as well, as well as skin irritation. And this is all according to not only Medium articles, but a wonderful site called Exxon's 
usa.com which has a full list that breaks down what you should be looking for in and what you shouldn't be looking for in your lubes how are your hands feeling it's kind of like um they've been lotioned okay sure jan it's not the worst but i'm not a fan of it flavor lubes are fun but it's important to read about what the lubes have and contain but i don't like that it says vagina plate because the ingredients here do lead to not only drying out irritation but bacterial infections and especially concerned because it's a top rated thing on amazon hey 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 i hey. i think it's good no it tastes good mm. yeah not my favorite though and like what's your usual lube of choice mine's always pretty much silicone like a really pure silicone it's pure, 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 pure. it depends on what i'm doing so mm. if i'm doing penetrative it'd be silicone so if i'm doing electrical i do water base and if I was doing gooning or edging, I'd use alvoline or an oil based. But a water base is great for, especially if you're doing condoms. I just don't love the overall makeup of this. Your makeup is terrible. I'm, I'm kind of sticky. I'm a little sticky now. Sounds like a personal problem. What do you rate that? A yay or a nay? I rated it as a yay. I'm gonna say slay because it's gonna kill it. Slay. Slay. Oh, so so mine was a sleigh and yours was a. Ooh wee. Okay. <laughs> oh god, it's still on me. How did it get there? Ew. Oh god, it's everywhere. Uh. For the record, if you get silicone lube everywhere, just do not wash your sheets right away. Use a little Dawn dish soap and soak it first. Yeah, don't don't even go for your hand towels because it will stain your hand towels. Slay. 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 And of course, no sexual wellness video is without talking about our favorite sexual wellness, pizza. Mm. <laughs> no, not, no. But in the time it takes to order a pizza, you could get today's sponsor, Joy Mode, a sexual wellness booster that has a bunch of little packets inside here. And all you need is, oh, some water. So while we talk about sexual wellness, today we are using our sponsor, Joy Mode, who wanted to join us in some sexual wellness with their sexual performance booster. Daddy, have you ever gone to like a gas station and bought one of those like boner pills that you're very skeptical of and you're not sure if they're gonna work and then it kind of gives you gas or like indigestion, heartburn, you Usually know? Usually they give me a headache and make me feel very edgy. And that's where Joy Mode comes in because it is a one-time pack per use. Put that in six to eight ounces of water and 45 minutes before any sexual engagements and not only are you going to get rid of that heartburn from maybe the pizza or the boner pill we were just talking about, you're going to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Oh, it smells good. And how does it taste? I like that. So whether you're doing your best Taylor or Gaga, your disco stick will be ready in about 45 minutes with a nice, ooh, that is nice. It's like kind of lemony. Got a bit of citrus. It's not too sweet. Mm -mm. It's literally daddy proof. Well, nothing. Um, mm. Yeah, you just, Daddy brew. Yeah, you just, it's like a pre-workout for sex. True, and the sexual performance booster, much like the pre-workout, has vitamins in it. So it's designed to support not only erection quality, firmness of sex drive, but has arginine nitrates, L-citrulline, panax ginseng, and vitamin C. And general erection function is gonna be through the roof. So go to usejoymode.com, that's use J-O-Y-M-O-D-E, and use offer code what, Daddy? What's 20? To get 20% off and free shipping, again with what code? What's 20? <laughs> so thank you again, Joy Mode, and on to more wellness products that uh, might not be as good for me, probably. Or joyful. Mm-hmm. you in the bedroom. Oh, well, we have a few more toys to figure out, so by the time this kicks in, we'll be good to go. Okay. Next item. This next one's kind of uh, familiar, actually. I'll have you open that up real quick. Well, oh, it's a toolkit. Not quite. I do like that it comes in a, a very nice little pack. It looks probably pretty similar to some toys we're very familiar with, too because this is a TENS unit. TENS, TENS, TENS across the board. Ah, uh, electrical. This is the TENS 7000 digital TENS unit with accessories. TENS unit muscles, stimulator for back relief, pain relief, general pain relief, neck pain, sciatica pain, and nerve pain relief. And when looking through toys, especially of the Eastern variety, this was recommended to me as a top rated. And we see this all the time at events because we work events for Mr. S. We'll be like, hey, I'm looking to get a toy to, that works with my TENS unit. And we usually say what? You should try one of our Easton boxes because they've been designed to go especially with sex toys. True. And would you like some help there? there yeah, we're going to wrap my battery. And the batteries that come with our Easton boxes usually aren't wrapped so heavily. <laughs> no. So it looks like one of our Easton boxes. It has the two channels. It has the exact same leads that we use and we sell. Do you need help? I got it. <laughs> Wait, it just goes, it goes, yeah. it just goes in there like uh -huh. that? There's but no... put the positive on the positive. There should be a plus and a minus. Oh. Oh, this is already so dangerous. Okay, usually there's a little plus. <laughs> right, so. 
Anyway, let's go this way and see if it works. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not going to explode. What terrifies me about these is they're so inexpensive. This was 25 when I bought it on wow, sale. That's a 25. 25 when I bought it. A good run of the mill Easton box is somewhere around, I would say 150 ish. And that's because it's specifically made. But what's really concerning, not only the back of this box that daddy can't put back on, <laughs> yeah, put back on. but the types of tens units out there or electric boxes do vary in different styles and grades. Can I, would you like me to do that for you? <laughs> this is so cheap. <laughs> it won't even go back on. Hulk smash! Okay, so here's the box. It's got knobs on the top. It's got two outputs here, which is pretty good for a box. It's got little modes here. Like you can kind of see, turn off and on power, select mode, select setting, increase or decrease setting. It feels pretty basic and run of the mill. And what are you doing here, daddy? I'm just gonna put the electrodes on me and let's see how it works. Yeah. Do they have it, does it have the same power that the other ones do? Well, that's why I wanna test this out because there's different kinds of boxes that do e-stem. This is a TENS unit, which is kind of the, the pain reliever unit of all the, the boxes out there. There's also EMS and TENS units stand for transactional electrical nerve stimulation boxes. And they're made for pain relief and medical practices but not medical play, like in the kinky sense. They're given by doctors to help to target nerve pain and the nervous system. Not just because it's 10 out of 10? I, I'm not sure we're gonna give this yet, but we're okay, gonna test find it out. out. They are usually, whenever I talk to kinksters, are not very powerful. And oh. um, it didn't go on. You, nothing is on. Did you feel something? I did. Did you? Yeah. Nothing's on yet. Maybe I'm scared. <laughs> Hello. Beam me up, Scotty. EMS are electrical muscle stimulation. They target the muscles, not the nerves. And then Easton boxes are kind of the best of both worlds, like Miley Cyrus. And they are specifically made for ah. toys. I'm trying to still figure out how to turn this on. It's a little more complicated than I thought. Should I take these off while you no, figure no, no, that no, out? No, 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 no. Ooh, it's got different modes. It says burst currently. Don't do burst, do the next one. Okay. Of the five modes, we're selecting modulation. Okay, now I'm with, what does that mean? Listen, I've taught classes on electroplay, and the fact that this is confusing is, is kind of telling. The pulse rate is from 2 hertz to 150 hertz. We recommend a setting of 70 to 120. So, which hertz less? 1 or 70? So I'm going to put it at the recommended. Okay. This is a lot of work. It takes Usually a long time. Usually we have knobs that yeah. go right to where you want it. If you were in the middle of a scene and you heard me going, you'd be laying there blindfolded going, he doesn't know what he's doing. Are you feeling anything? <laughs> Not yet. Go, go. Start. Are you feeling it yet? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Crab? Oh, so you set the, the highest that it can possibly be here and then the knobs on top. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, don't go that high. <laughs> I did, I, all I did was one. One of ten, okay, one of eight. A little bit, dude, just do a little. That was a little. <laughs> that was a lot. Do it. Okay, there we go. You see my bicep moving just a little bit? Mm -hmm. That's the pulse. Go up a little higher. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I can't control my fingers. <laughs> I'm not doing anything! Okay, lower it! Lower it! I, I, lower it. I barely okay. touch. That is way barely stronger touch. than what we normally do. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was really powerful. I feel like it's only fair for me to try it out now. That's on. Uh -huh. You slowly. Slowly, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it off. Always turn things off before you apply and reapply. Take off all your electronics, though. Oh my god. <laughs> your Apple Watch. <laughs> no, I... I, <laughs> I think my CPU is overheating. And never cross the heart. We have a whole Electroplay video. Go check it out, please. So this is what you can do with these pads, but they can be hooked up to different toys. Like if for anal play, it would cause your <laughs> to contract involuntarily to the rhythm of electricity. Is it on yet? No. Oh, I felt. So I know. There's. Um, there, it's got. It's got. It's got, it's got phantom. That's scary. And for added effect, I've got a passage from Fifty Shades of Grey over here. So I'm gonna read while you slowly ramp it up, please. Christian has his dessert and eats it too. He sits up again and trails a spoonful of ice cream down the center of my body, across my stomach, in my navel, 
where he deposits a large drop of ice cream. <laughs> he kisses each of my Actually, breasts. Ice cream? <laughs> no screaming, please. <laughs> he kisses each of my breasts and sucks each of my nipples hard and then follows a line of ice cream down my body. This way, he murmurs. Okay, we're done, we're done, we're done, we're done. Turn it off, please. Turn it off, please. <laughs> I wouldn't put that on a sex toy. No, because it's gonna bite you so quickly. And this is why people don't like TENS units usually, because they're not made with the focus on regulating and modulating the sex toy properly. And after using that, I don't feel sexually well, but I feel mentally scared. So. <laughs> Ooh, that's a whole nother kink. No, thank you. I'm gonna give that a big old nay. <laughs> nay. <laughs> Slay. To round out our lovely spa sexual wellness day, this one was also a top rated object. And I'm just gonna hope that this one doesn't suck, at least not in a bad way, because this is, oh God, the directions are in, are those Chinese directions? <laughs> yep. A cupping set. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Yeah, how's it feel? It actually feels good. It's nice. Right. <laughs> like That's it. nice. Cupping is known to, to be something used for therapy for both muscles and pains. Oh my God. Okay, wait. Oh, got it. And cupping is like, it, it, you get the little bulbs on your skin and you attach that suction pump to the top and you start cupping. When cups, bells, or bowls are used in the skin through suction to make sure that the blood is pulled to the surface of skin, which creates intense, pleasurable sensations on erogenous zones or on, do not. So you're gonna put it in your mouth. <laughs> oh. Well, that is okay. Slowly, that is very, very strong. Normally, you'd want to do cupping for like five minutes to ten max. It's not the worst. We have a pretty good experience with suction toys and cupping. How do I? <laughs> Ow! Ooh. It was turning purple. Do you guys it's supposed to? The areas my parents are gonna see you for the holidays. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> wow. And we should make note that there are several versions of cupping. They have what's called dry cupping, which is what we're doing right now. What are you, you know, give I'm me? Trying that. to cut myself. There's also wet cupping, which is sometimes you actually will cut the skin a little bit to cause blood to to soak through. That's definitely more intense. But there's also fire cupping. Like that's pulling that skin way up there. Considering it was again, only 30 bucks, not a bad kit. And what I really like is some of these size guys are definitely for certain areas, if you know what I mean. No, what do you mean? I don't mark up as much as you. Well, some of us are sensitive boys, okay? You're a petite little flower. Okay. I would say this is actually a really good set. For only 30 bucks, that's not bad. And it's something that you can actually adjust the pressure yourself and pretty easy to use too. As you can see, even daddy was able to figure it out pretty quickly. Oh, but they do give you, if you were able to read Chinese, they show you all the erogenous zones. That's kind of helpful, I guess. What I am actually <laughs> curious about daddy, and can you do this off screen? Cause we can't show it on YouTube. Can you do one of the nipple ones? Cause you're super into nipples. Yeah. And that's what I want to test is an erogenous zone. Get it out of your mouth. 12 seconds later. Like a virgin. You're giving me Madonna right now. Turn more that way. There you go. When <laughs> cupped for the very first time. How does that feel, Daddy? Um, just like the the cups I usually use. If you're doing this and you have a hairy chest, you either have to shave so it's not around. I love how we're getting around demonetization. <laughs> or, or use Vaseline. <laughs> Vaseline. <laughs> Um, that was fun and interesting. I would I, give it a yay. It was pretty good. It says I liked around thirty dollars. That's a, this is yeah. a lot for thirty dollars. Okay, I'll give this a yay too. You you swayed me. Yeah, that's a fun, fun toy. Play, 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 play. Okay, not all things on this review are gonna be bad. It turns out. Thank God. Did you think they were? Usually, yes. <laughs> Next item: the BDSM door sex swing with seat. Oh no, that looks like a bad idea. Also I'm spent say right now. about $30 on it, so... This looks like one of those pull-up chin-up bars that people put over door frames. Door frames, that is just trim <laughs> that's around the door. That's not what doors are built on. They have two hinges. That's all the way is going on the two hinges. Do not do this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say nay already. <laughs> 
Oh, but daddy. This no. This wouldn't be a channel that tries things. Are we gonna try you in it? So this goes over the door, right? Wait, this is all that holds you over the door? Well, there is two of them. No, no. No, 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 no. That's a bad idea. It says upwards of 300 pounds. You put it over the door like this. Yeah, you put it over the door. And close the door. Uh-huh. And I'm supposed to hang on it. <laughs> Could you imagine if you put if you put someone in it and someone opened the door? <laughs> You're like, they would fall. It also does not look comfortable whatsoever, but daddy, as much as you don't want to try it, it wouldn't be our channel if we didn't try it. Holidays are over. <laughs> of all things I've purchased on this channel, this one made me the most nervous, if I'm being honest. It looks kind of cheaply made. Like, it's not well cushioned by any means. Like, that's cheap plastic right there that you get in like a, a school binder. The cushion, it looks far more posh and cushioned than uh, than it really is. And the leg strips. Okay, we got the handy cam. The tree's not there, stop looking at it, Kevin. Okay, so everything connects here. I don't know what this is for, what's this one for? Oh, for the this. hands, probably. See me with them hands. Yeah, this is a hand strap, Daddy, so you go, go right in there. That looks very difficult to adjust. And there's nothing stopping this nylon strap from just sliding out the end of it, by the way. As much as it's like, ooh, suspend your partner. It's not sexy to try to adjust this thing. It's actually very, very difficult to do. <laughs> Don't break it. <laughs> oh my God, that is going to break your door. Okay, I wanna, I wanna see. <laughs> this is so dumb! We So good! Oh, oh, yeah, no. It's I can scary. hear it I, creaking. I know, I know, I can't I can it. hear it literally creaking. <laughs> Alright, so that's a no. Are you okay? <laughs> My carpet's slippery. <laughs> don't, don't buy this. This is a death trap. It's not. Don't good. do that. It's not good. Thank you for not making me do that. Uh, yeah. I would have broken something. <laughs> slay. Nay. No, Nay. no, no, it's kill it. Slay oh. it. Oh, kill it. Slay, mm -hmm. kill it? Okay. Slay. No, bad. This is one of those things that's all over every website we've ever tried. AliExpress. You even see this on Etsy sometimes from sellers. This is a Amazon. Horrible. Wish. Please, please do not try this at home or buy that. Of all objects, I can let the water-based lube slide because it's fun and wee! <laughs> Just don't use the water-based lube <laughs> on <underneath>. the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being the guinea pig. Usually Thank I'm just the pig. Thank you. Ow, ow. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Silly. I'm just gonna throw the And now you're dead. <laughs> Mom comes in because she hears noises. Death. What are you kids doing? <laughs> the whole hallway smells like <laughs> Mom! <laughs> you just killed my girlfriend! <sighs> so daddy, do you feel more sexually well? Uh I actually like the cups. I I, I have to say I love the lube. Okay. And I, I'm gonna say that the cupping was my favorite object, but again, that was that's the low bar here of objects for me. <laughs> Did we just unlock a new kink for you? I could go for a tall cup of relaxation, yes. Okay. But only in the right areas. I don't know how that was supposed to be uh, erotically stimulating. And hey, if you're looking to get sexually well in the new year, please do not use any of these objects, except for maybe the cupping or the lube all out. Instead, check out today's sponsor, Joy Mode, who made sure we were not only sexually well, but well ready for um, sexy times. And you won't hurt yourself. So check out Joy Mode again down below. Use offer code WATS20 at Joy Mode. That's J-O-Y-M-O-D-E dot com. And if you enjoyed today's, well, if you did enjoy today's episode, pray for my wrist. Ow. Oh, he's going to milk this one forever. How did mine get milked? Leave a comment down below. And whether you're using the sling, the lube, getting your cup on or not, always have a safe word. And today's safe word is... Hello, cake. <laughs> That's, that's what I say when I see a book. Hey, how's that cake doing? And don't forget to subscribe for more Sexually Well episodes where we test out things so you don't have to. And we will talk to you all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, that kind of hurt. That kind oh of hurt. my God, you're not that hurt. <laughs> I'm not that hurt, but...
It, it, I, I, I kind of jammed it a little bit. Where's that east end? I will. No, I, I no, will, no, I no, no, right no, 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 no. Oh my God, I'm so much better now. <laughs> See, that's wow. how it works. Thanks, Joy Mode. You make everything better. 